If you write code for a living, you'll know very well that your GitHub commit history is the measure of your worth as a developer and also as a human being. Lines of code and number of commits directly correlate with intelligence and productivity. The graph is a straight line. If you want to be taken seriously in today's competitive LinkedIn environment alongside all the 19-year-olds who've been coding for 30 years, your commit history better look like this. If you have no idea what this is, this is a chart that shows every day of the past year and how much activity your GitHub account had on those dates. But look, I've been busy this year, so my commit history is looking a little bit sparse. I can feel my brain getting smoother, and it's really time for me to get working on this before it stays that way permanently. But then I thought to myself, why spend the next year doing coding every day to improve my craft and become a smarter, more capable developer when I could just lie about it? Here's a little secret. The commit history on GitHub is based on whatever timestamps exist on the commits in your repos. And where do those timestamps come from? The files that you upload to GitHub. And that means that, as a great and very non-fictional purple man once said, reality can be whatever I want. So, with a couple of hours of work and a few lines of code, I can appear to be a competent and productive member of society. For every day of the last year, I can generate a random number of commits. The size of the commit doesn't matter, it's how you use it. I mean, how much you use it. Okay, look, GitHub just counts the number of commits for contributions, not the lines of code changed or even the characters changed. So even if you just keep appending the letter A to a text file and have a couple hundred commits like that, GitHub still makes it look like you're doing a lot. And you know what? If I'm already generating a whole bunch of commits, why not flex on my programming peers, sorry, I mean inferiors, and spell out some wacky messages? Here are some stats for you. There are 52 weeks in a year and seven days in a week. This means that our canvas is effectively an image that's 52 pixels wide and seven pixels tall. This limits the number of things that we can effectively show quite significantly. Or does it? In fact, there's all sorts of stuff that you can put into this amount of space. So you know QR codes, right? The smallest regular QR code is 21 by 21 pixels, way too big. And even micro QR codes are 11 by 11. But have you heard of long QR codes? These are only a couple of years old and can be as small as 43 by 7 pixels. We only get a few characters, but it turns out that this is the perfect length for some choice four-letter words. We can also just spell out messages with text, which is probably easier and less elaborate. Ooh, but here's a problem. Commit numbers interfere with each other when you try to write different messages, even if you force push to rewrite the commit history and remove the original message. Well, here's how we fix that. Just nuke the repo entirely. And we're back to a blank canvas. There's all sorts of fun stuff that I, an artist, can put here. This one's for all my new grads, pour one out. Hmm, it almost looks like there's a message here. No, maybe not. This is just a wacky random blob I drew. Huh, I guess it looks kind of familiar. Is this? No, it can't be. So this was kind of fun, and now the rest of the world will think that I know what I'm doing. Remember kids, it's like I always say, work stupider, not harder.